How are we doing everybody? Now, this morning, I'm sat in bed, I'm having my morning coffee, I'm having my morning scroll on social media, you know, checking my emails, Instagram, Twitter, give it a quick look, bit of Facebook in there as well. Yes, I'm 43 years old. And what do I see? Jake Paul. Jake Paul has come out of the woodwork and uh, he's talking a little bit of shit. He's actually calling me out for a fight. Can you believe this guy? He says that I'm on his hit list. <laughs> And I am absolutely goddamn terrified. Yes, Jake Paul, the guy that calls out everyone that is way smaller, that is over the hill, that can't box, that doesn't box. Yes, he's calling me out. A 43-year-old guy with one eye, no knees, a bad neck, and some might say over the hill. Um, not what I say, by the way. So I tweeted at him. I said, hey, Jake, whoa, whoa, whoa. You do realize that I'm about your size, you know, so surely that excludes me from a, you know, from being a potential opponent. And then I sent again, I said, send location. You know, just fucking around. Now, he said, here are the people on his hit list. He said, oh, I've got a hit list out talking to the great Teddy Atlas, by the way. The people on the hit list were Floyd Mayweather. Well, Floyd Mayweather's been retired for a while. He just had an exhibition bout with your brother, so I don't think that's going to work. So again, he's net mentioning the greatest of all time in a professional boxing match. Have you seen the size of Floyd Mayweather? The man is absolutely tiny. All right, who else we got? Oscar De La Hoya. Oscar De La Hoya, a former opponent of Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather, a guy that, again, is way, way smaller. But to top it off, he had his last professional fight in 2008. 2008, what's that? 14 years ago. He's calling out a guy that's been retired for 14 fucking years. <laughs> Check <us. laughs> Oh my God. Do you not see the lunacy of this? Jake, please, for the love of God. Right, we've spoken once. Uh, I've got nothing against you. Listen, you want to fight me? Oh good, I couldn't care less. But I'm just giving you a bit of advice. As a man, as a boxer, as a fighter, more importantly, as a man, if you want to get taken seriously, man, pick on people your own size and not people that have been retired for 14 fucking years. That's hilarious. Who else have we got? We've got uh, Anderson Silva, again. A guy that, uh, what is he, Anderson now? 44, 45, something like that. I think he went... One and five in his last six UFC fights. Of course, got knocked out against Uriah Hall, sadly. Anderson Silva, absolute legend. Nothing but respect for the guy. Has had a smooth transition over to boxing. Beat uh, Cesar Chavez Jr. Very, very convincingly. And knocked out Tito Ortiz with one punch. Uh, but still, again, you know what I mean? Is this really who you want to be calling out? Then, of course, he called out Sonny Williams. He's on the hit list. <sighs> Careful, Sonny, you are on Jake Paul's hit list. All right, real quick, I just want to tell you about Chimera Coffee. Listen, in the morning you get out of bed, you want to get that caffeine boost, but you want to do some goodness to your brain. And that is where Chimera Coffee comes in. What's unique about Chimera is that they've included brain vitamins that help maintain short and long-term cognitive health and performance. Chimera Coffee's line of products have an overall Amazon rating of 4.8 stars with thousands of reviews worldwide. The original blend is thousands of reviews from customers around the world. Chimera Coffee, the only use premium earth-grown ingredients, no weird chemicals or banned substances, and Chimera's vitamins help you sustain that coffee boost and eliminate that crash feeling, giving you a unique experience. It is the most productive coffee ever and if you want to get shit done and you're looking for a great tasting productive coffee experience chimera coffee is the way to go and they are offering a money back guarantee order the coffee by going to chimeracoffee.com k-i-m-e-r-a k-o-f-f-e-e -E, chimeracoffee.com or just hit the link in the episode description down below and if you don't like it they will send it you just send it back and they'll give you your money back Full refund within 24 hours if you don't like it. No questions, no explanation, nothing. ChimeraCoffee.com, the most productive coffee ever. Link down there. Now, Sonny Williams, that's actually an interesting one for Jake because the guy is a young guy. He's kind of in his prime. He's 9-0, and I believe, as a boxer. He's a heavyweight. I think he weighs 108 kilos, so that's about 220. It's about 240 pounds, something like that. So that fight's never going to happen. Right, he's thrown Sonny Williams, is it Sonny Williams? Yeah, he's thrown Sonny Williams on there. I'm not overly familiar with Sonny Williams, I had to look him up. Not gonna lie. Um, 
that's never going to happen. Never going to, he's just far too heavy, far too big, but you never know. I mean, if you can fight a small guy, why can't he fight a big guy? And then, of course, on there, there was Tommy Fury, but he said he's never going to fight Tommy. He should fight Tommy Fury. But, of course, the point of this video is that my name is on there. My name is on there. So, do I want to fight Jake Paul? Right, listen, here's the thing. I had a great career. I'm very happy with what I accomplished. I'm happily retired. I'm very, very happily retired, but I do miss the thrill of competition. And I don't see Jake Paul as necessarily a threat. I retired from fighting because I only had one eye and I didn't want to risk my other eye. In boxing, the bigger gloves, you know, against Jake Paul. Again, I, I, as I say, I don't really see him as a threat. So, Jake Paul, if... I mean, beating you up sounds like fun. Of course, you are a big star, you know, and God bless you. Well done to you. I'm not hating. Well done to you. You've, you've done great things. All jokes aside, because I am kind of joking. But... Um, You've done great. You're, you're earning a lot of money. You're a big star. You're getting a lot of pay-per-views and stuff like that. So for that reason, I probably would. I probably would. But we've been here before. He sent an email to Auditor, Paradigm Sports Management, or his manager did, um, asking if I would fight him. Offered half a million dollars. I said, double it, add pay-per-view, and we'll see where we go. Never even got a response. Never even got a response. So he's doing the same thing again here. You know what I mean? I reported it. Sorry, I, I tweeted, you know, send location and whatnot. A lot of websites, the Daily Star in England, bjpen.com. Loads of websites all jumping on it. Whoa, whoa, Bispin says, you know, this fight's never going to happen. But I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, Jake, if you're watching, if you want to throw down, if you want to step in the squared circle with me, I'll, I'll oblige. I will oblige. I'll do it. It sounds like fun. It gives me a reason to train, to get in shape. You know, give me a few months, you know, lose a couple of pounds and let's go, baby. No problem. Only thing is I won't get sanctioned. You know, I doubt one of the, the athletic commissions would let me right now because I used to lie about my eye, but now the secret's out. You know, the cat's out of the bag. But there's lots of places where they will not care. Lots of places where they don't give a shit. What about Dubai? Dubai seems to be hosting a lot of fights. Let's go to Dubai. What about an Indian reservation? No problem there. Lots of countries in Europe, Africa, China. I mean, the world is our oyster, right? There's not athletic commissions everywhere. I'm pretty sure we could find a place that would allow us to throw down. So yeah, I mean, there it is. I mean, I'm a joking a little bit. I'm a serious, maybe a little bit. You know, if you are serious, if you want to do it, send an email. Send an, You've done it once before. Tell your manager to send me an email. I don't want to fight. I don't. I'm very happily retired. And to be honest, this whole thing is beneath me. But he does generate a lot of interest. And I think me versus him would generate a lot of interest. I'm not saying I want to fight Jake Paul. I'm not, because that's kind of pathetic. But it just got me thinking. It got me going. And it gave me a reason to do a YouTube video. Uh, but Jake, good luck with what you're doing. Just call out someone your own size. Tommy Fury. That should be the fight. That should be the fight. And I know what all you uh, Jake Paul fan boys are going to say, oh, mate, you, you're dropping his name, you're doing it for clicks and likes and all the rest of it. No, he's the one that mentioned my name on the Teddy Atlas podcast and said, I'm on his hit list. Ooh, I'm really, really scared. I'm on Jake Paul's hit list. Listen, mate, you're a young man. You're in your prime. Fight a young man in your prime. If you want to fight a 43-year-old guy with one eye and no knees, hey, buddy, let's go. Send location. Please, just send me location. Send a contract. Send something rather than just talking on Teddy Atlas's podcast. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, there it is. Uh, hope you're all well. Have a great weekend. We've got Bilal Mohammed taking on Vincente Luque tonight. So tune in for that one. That's going to be a great fight. But uh, yeah, other than that, life is good. I'll be back with another video probably tomorrow talking about tonight's UFC main event. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe, ring the bell, all that good stuff. Take care.